Hello everyone, welcome back to the stream. I'm uh, I'm Lynx, and uh, thank you for joining me again. Hey, part two. We'll see how we go today. Hopefully we don't have any major uh, accidents like we did in the last video. Um, yeah, so if you're new, welcome to the stream. Uh, if you are uh, someone who watched my previous video, welcome back. Your support is always appreciated. So, uh, what did we get up to last time? We, you know, we just potted around, got stuck, rolled my truck, and completed a few jobs. That's pretty much the long and short of it, I think. Um, yeah. So, instead of focusing on... Uh, on jobs today, I thought what's probably a good idea is to head out and explore a little. Because there's plenty of watchtowers left for us to get on this first map, and there's plenty of upgrades as well. Uh, and some of them are for uh, this truck right here, the Chevy. Ooh. Excuse me there. Got a bit of a burp going on. Too much water, that's what it is. Anyway, um, so yeah, the, that's the plan for today. And I will quickly bring up the map and I'll show you kind of where we're gonna, where we're gonna go, what we're gonna do. So we're here at the moment uh, at our little base and we've still got this watchtower, this one, this one. Uh, there's an upgrade there. We've got another watchtower and another watchtower all to get uh, and there's also an upgrade here as well so what I'm planning to do first is try and cover all of those um, we'll see how far we get um, but that's that's the that's the initial thing that we're going to do and then we're probably going to carry on with the contract that we've currently got selected not a drill because we've got um, the We've got the uh, the main uh, large semi-rig oil drilling transport platform thing that we hauled over to the drilling site in the last episode. We just need to bring some other materials there as well. So that's the plan. So we'll see we'll see how that goes basically. Um, but yeah, I know this map has a load of upgrades for the Chevy. So if we can if we can grab those, then we'll be in a much better place to go exploring. So that's the plan. So we're gonna get uh, get started. I think. Let me just make sure that chat is ready to go. There we go. Oh yes, definitely. Time to get stuck stuck in some mud. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the plan. So. Hopefully no more rolling though, that's that's not the plan, you know, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so let's, uh, it's it's still night time, but it's just before five o'clock now, so uh, hopefully um, we should start getting a bit of light on the situation as we go here. And actually, one thing I want to check before we go, do I have, I do have that quest picked up. So, we could do that one when we do our first watchtower, but it's a bit of a hairy quest getting up there. It doesn't really award as much, but it might be worth doing. It might be worth doing. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm do it whilst, whilst I'm in the area. I might as well, otherwise it'll just never get done. So, because I'll, I won't want to come back this way. Um, I made a couple of little modifications to this guy. Um, woo! <laughs> Put on some all-wheel drive there before I skid off the road sideways. Uh, I've made a few modifications to this guy. Um, I'm not sure if I changed the tyres this episode or last episode, but... Uh, is this the turning we want? Yes, it is. Ooh. Nope, not that. So, I put some different tyres on, which will help us in the mud. Uh, I've got some all-terrain tyres on. 
Um, hi, hi. <laughs> nice of you to keep me company. Um, so, oh, let's just go around here. And I also equipped this thing with the autonomous winch. Now, it was a bit of a spend. It was like nine grand. And I only have like 31 grand at the moment. Um, but I think it's a worthwhile investment because this little thing will be going everywhere that the Fleet Star isn't. And if this gets stuck or if I roll it, then I'm going to have some serious problems getting it recovered. And I really don't have to want to pay for recovery because we saw how much that was in the last episode. Um, so with the autonomous winch I should be able to pull myself out of most situations because I can use that when the engine isn't running uh, so yeah just get over here to this watchtower Ooh, excuse me there we go that's watchtower open Ooh. ah launch I'll show you the guys the the, the panoramic view of the garage there. Very nice. Um, so next we'll head up here. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just select this and start tracking that. Because uh, we're just going up there. That's where we're going. It's just a bit kind of insane getting up there, you know? <clears throat> but, yeah, hopefully unlocking a few watchtowers, doing a few odd jobs as we go along unlocking those watchtowers should get us some more experience and that's what we really need at the moment because oh ow darn it all um i really need to get up to like level six or seven fairly promptly because at least then i can get some better tires for my fleet star and that will make completing jobs a lot easier because at the moment we're still stuck on highway tires and it's just you know, not that helpful. So, use the winch to kind of help pull ourselves up here. Woo! Come on now. Come on. Come on. Find some grip. There we go. That's better. All right. Oh, wait. No. Oh, we found another good, good point there. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's kind of crazy getting up here, but uh, just got to get to this little blue spot. Hey, there we go. We got a little bit of money and a little bit of XP, so that's not too bad. Um. Now, the big challenge is going to be getting back down this hill without rolling myself into a ditch. So, I'm going to have to kind of go round this tree here. So, I'm going to... Way. Come on now. So, we'll... Pull ourselves in there. Come on now. Get out. Get out of the tree. Alright. No. Get out. Out of the... No. Bad. <laughs> What's going on? Get off the tree. Get off it. Right. Okay. We're going to have to sort this out. Uh... And then that way and that way. There we go. That's better. Whoop. Yep. <laughs> Still need those winch points. Oi, and we're down. Ha <laughs> ha! I've never actually had to do that before in this Chevy because usually when I get up here. Um, previously in the game, you can you just recover back to the garage because it's right below you. Uh, 
not necessarily more difficult. They still seem to have the same kind of integrity behind them for like what vehicles they can support on a winch and what vehicles can drive over them and such like. But one thing I will say about the trees is they they are definitely more of a hazard in hard mode because you know the whole thing with hard mode is you don't want to get permanently stuck at all because uh, it's going to cost you to recover if you need to and you really don't want to be spending money on recovery if you can help it so um, yeah they're not more difficult but they, they definitely pose more of a risk so we've used 14 litres so far getting up here and doing one watchtower. So the question is, how many watchtowers am I going to be able to get done before I need to refuel? Because I don't have any extra fuel on this truck just yet. And the next watch, the next fuel station, not watchtower, fuel station that I can get to, is the one up next to the town. So, let's try and coast some of this if possible, rather than applying too much power. Yeah, so I'm hoping I can get this next watchtower done and over to the fuel station. Uh, actually, there's two watchtowers that I need to get to. Way! Where'd you come from? I swear, this game just likes creating obstacles for you. That just, you know, aren't actually there at all. Whoop, there. <laughs> Swinging around all over the place. Right, so another little quick check of the map. Uh, now we want to go there really, and then it's an easier shot. Because there's that watchtower and there's this watchtower, and then we can get to the fuel station. Actually, I might grab that. If so, watchtower. Watchtower, if we've got the fuel, upgrade, and then fuel station. If not, it'll have to be fuel station first, then upgrade. But that will be annoying because they're kind of in the same location. Um, but we'll see what we have. We only used nearly a quarter of our tank there. If we can get away with only using like a quarter of our tank to do each watchtower and a quarter of the tank to do the upgrade and get to the fueling station and we should be all right or less than you know less than is even better so let's hope for that okay so here we go now this is really going to test the Chevy because this is real muddy ground muddy 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 must be funny in a snow runner game. Ah, come on. That's better. Okay. Got some slightly firmer mud beneath us. <laughs> I'm not going to say ground because it is just mud. But definitely want to avoid those tire ruts there because that's just going to create no end of problems. hook myself between these trees here as best I can. Ooh, yep, get over that guy. And then... Ooh, come on. Come on. Come on, pretty. Come on. Yeah, watchtower number two done. And let's have an observation as well. The beautiful swamps of Michigan. Yay. Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, we've got a drowned truck there and a drowned scout truck there, so <laughs> probably won't be doing those for a while. We need some uh, much kind of more capable machinery. All right, so, I'm going to head back 
via this road, I hope. Yep, okay. That's going alright. Nope, not that one. That tree there will do nicely. See, there we go. This is where I wish I had access to high gear. This high gear is very useful, but we don't, because we still have the standard gearbox. Oop, that was a little bit of a dip. That's fine. Actually, we're doing okay for fuel now. It was only really... I, yeah, I think we should be fine for fuel. As long as I don't get too stuck in any mud. Because, uh, yeah, I was worried we were going to use a lot, given how much we used doing that first watchtower. But I think we should be fine. Should be fine. Ooh, come on, camera. Play ball with me now. Especially as we are now back on the main road. I can probably turn all-wheel drive off in a minute. And, uh, get a little bit of extra fuel economy. There we go. Beautiful. Ah. Uh, sunny days. Yes, it's sunny days. Now then, I need to just have a quick look at the map here. Let's turn the engine off for a second. Uh, so, to get to this guy, we can go left or right. I think I'm going to go left. Um, this is actually the area where you start the game normally. If uh, if you're not on hard mode, you start down in this corner and you with the Chevy and you've got to go over here and rescue the highway truck and then you have to build this bridge and then get to the garage, but you don't get the tutorial in hard mode, so we didn't, uh, technically, we didn't explore that corner of the map, so we're going to go this way now. There's nothing over here. There is literally nothing over here. This, this particular watchtower is quite possibly the most useless watchtower in the entirety of the game, um, because it reveals nothing. It has no purpose at all, um, and yeah, it's just really weird that they put one here. Especially when, like, the tutorial sends you to a completely different watchtower to start the game. You know, it's it's very unusual. But yeah, you start off next to that little building over there normally. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, yep. That'll be why it's struggling. Need to put all-wheel drive back on. Come on. That's a good truck. Good truck. Good. Climb. Climb, my precious. There's the road. That's what we need. Road. <laughs> Dirt path through the hills, more like. Okay. Yes, of course, another thing I've got to think about is the less fuel I use, the less I have to pay to retop the tank later. So, that's uh, another consideration as well, isn't it? You know, it's so easy to forget all the different things you've got to pay for and be aware of in hard mode because you've kind of gotten so used to having things as they are. Watchtower number three. Oh, the card, right, yes. Um, I did some digging on that and seemingly... Uh, because uh, for, for anyone that's new to the stream, um, in the last episode I was confused as to why the DLC vehicles that you normally get given uh, weren't present in the truck storage, and I thought maybe they were, um, maybe they were like situated in the other countries where you would get them, but there's there's just nothing. And I did some digging, and because this is hard mode, you don't get access, you don't get them for free. You get access to them, but you have to go to their respective countries and buy them. Uh, that is the road I want. On the left here. 
So yeah, um, I won't have the Khan. I probably won't get the Khan for a long time. Because uh, it's a Russian vehicle. And you can't buy it whilst you're in America. And even if I did go to Russia to buy it, it'll cost me money to transport it back to, um, to Michigan. And I'm guessing that transferring trucks from one place to another probably isn't cheap. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make do with the little Chevy here that seems to be doing pretty good for the time being. And certainly once we start getting some more upgrades for this thing and gain a few more levels, get some big chunky tyres on it and a raised suspension and all that, then it will be fantastic, I think, would be the word for it. Right. Okay, this should be where the upgrade is. Yep, here we go. One upgrade. Come on now. Just a little bit more hill. This is race suspension for the Chevy. So there's our first upgrade for the Chevy. Um, I think we can also find an engine on this map for it. And, uh, and then on the next map I think we can get diff lock, I believe. Um, oh, yes, and uh, yeah, just to go back to that question in chat. Um, I can still use my vehicles that I get here in other regions, but I have to pay to move them there, so that's the, uh, that's the big difference. Usually it's, it's free to, to move them from one location to another, uh, but not this time. I'm going to pay for it, so in, uh, in my last series... Uh, that I started on SnowRunner a while ago. Uh, you saw me like going to Alaska and digging the uh, digging the big cat out of the snow, and I was also planning on doing a few other little vehicle recoveries and bringing. Oh, God, God, what? I tapped a rock. Uh, never mind. Um, I was also planning on going and getting a few other vehicles and bringing them back to America as well um, to help me out. Um, and unless I want to pay to move them, I'm not going to have that option this time round. So I'm going to have to make do with what I can find here on the Michigan map. Which is fine. There are some, there are actually some pretty good uh, vehicles that you can find here. So, how much is it to refuel? Oh, that's not bad. $78. $78. That's pretty decent. For, uh, I suppose the Chevy only has a little tiny fuel tank, so it isn't going to cost a vast amount to uh, to refuel it. Right, I can take those off. We'll do some highway driving to get up to the uh, to the next location. Nyom, zooming through the city. On the wrong side of the road, no less. Well, not for me. I live in England, so this is perfectly, perfectly fine. But in terms of... Ooh, ah, that was my turning. Yep, uh, that is definitely the turning that I want. Um, the watchtower is actually a bit further ahead of us. But I want to go up here first. Because there's a little vehicle that we can find up here, I do believe, uh, which will help us out. It's, uh, I'm not probably not going to use it, because it, I don't count it to be as good as the Chevy early on. Um, but, well, yeah, Scotland. Scotland I live in. I didn't, I didn't, didn't want to be independentist I, I don't know but yeah Scotland 
So, yeah, still the left-hand side of the road. Right, now then. Uh, that comes down from there. So we want to be going to this corner just here, I do believe. Uh, so we'll carry on here. And we'll go and get ourselves a little vehicle through the grass. Get out of the way, bush. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on now. There we go. Much better. Oh, that's why I'm struggling. I'm like, why is this being why is this taking so long to get up this hill? Oh yeah, I hadn't turned all wheel drive back on, had I? Goodness me. I'm very bad at that. You know, and now shortcut. Because I can. Yeah. Um, yeah, cause you, usually in this game I just drive around with all-wheel drive engaged all the time because you don't have to worry about fuel. Well, not as much. You still have to worry about running out if you're nowhere near a fuel station, but there's lots of options to get free fuel. But not in this game right now, not in this mode. And there he is. There's the little vehicle that we want. Check out this little cute thing. Whoop! Ah! Don't roll it. New truck, the Scout 800. So, we're going to tug this down the mountain because it's pretty bog standard, it has terrible tyres on it, and it also is very, very bouncy. So, we're just going to take this with us down to the bottom of the hill and then just probably leave it on the road and I'll drive it back to the garage later or maybe tow it back when I'm passing because um, we're just going to sell this guy as he's not that great well I might leave it in the garage for a little while before I sell it because I think there are some upgrades scattered around the map and I don't want to like waste potential money it's not going to be a lot of money but it's still potential money from uh, from selling the upgrades that I can get for this before I sell it you know like I did with the GMC oh come on now oh 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 a little bit of low gear a little bit of swiggity swooty am I gonna get some grippy Nope. Okay, so we'll get up first, and then we'll reattach, put it back in auto, and just tug this guy up. Yep, come on, come on, come on little Chevy, I know you can do it. I just want to get this guy back to the road, and then you don't have to worry. Right, okay. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Right, just leave it here a second and pick up this task from over here. Not going to do it just yet, but we probably will before we switch over to the to the next map because this one is pretty easy. I think we just need some service parts and some wood for that job. So that should be relatively easy to to do as I said and then we're gonna go and get this next watchtower oh no that's the wrong winch point that's better okay yeah I don't want it winching from the side that'll just pull me over okay so Grab this 
next watchtower now. Pull this guy in a bit closer. Ooh. Get across this swampy bit first. Might have to drive the uh, might have to drive the scout across there by itself because I don't think the Chevy has the power to pull itself through the mud at the moment and pull the scout at the same time. So we'll just leave the scout there for now and I'll recover that later on. Watchtower. Boom. More swampland. <laughs> Big lakes, swamps, caravan trails and all that. Right, okay, rock slide, yes, that's a, that's one we're going to have to do. Stuck trailer, maybe we might do that one. Drainage, I'm not sure. We'll pick all these up though, whilst we're in the, uh, the local vicinity, and we'll see how we go. So, up here, we could get through. Oh, thank you. So that's drainage picked up. And this here is one that we definitely need to do because this is a roadblock. So we're actually going to put that on a tracker. And it's not too difficult. A metal beam and a service spare part. And we can get those right here in town. We've just got to... Uh, just got to go and grab them. So we'll grab those with the Fleet Star probably. Um, once we get her back to the garage. I have to make a few little modifications to the Fleet Star in order to... Oh, oh, come on. Come on now. There we go. That's better. Right. Now then, and this one here is Stuck Trailer, I believe. Yes, it is. So, what we're going to do now with the little Scouty, um, probably head back to the fuel station, retop this little bit of fuel that we need here. Uh, that's a pickup location for the roadblock as well. And then we're going to head over to the other side of the map and grab a upgrade and the final final watchtower of this map I think it's the final watchtower of this map yeah so oop, turn that off Get some more fuel economy way slidey slidey straight away uh, fuel station 42 dollars for a refuel there still very reasonable this little Chevy's doing great on its fuel capacity at the moment fuel consumption I should say not capacity the capacity doesn't change what are you talking about Lynx you giant potato right we go back up here and then we're going to cut through the logging yard and over the little bridge we built to grab a watchtower, uh, no, grab an upgrade on the other side of the map. Because we have got all of the upgrades for this side, I do believe. Ooh. Stop ourselves from flipping over there. <sighs> right, okay, so, yes. Yeah, through the logging yard and over to the other side of the map, grab another upgrade, go grab the final watchtower, and then we should be cooking with gas. Oh, actually, it's not the final upgrade. Uh, there is another one that we will need. Yes, I just remembered. There's one in the middle of the river. 
that we need to go and grab as well. So two upgrades and a watchtower. And there's also a truck over here that we can try and get. But it's not going to be easy. I might have to kit out the Fleet Star for a bit of uh, Rescue Ranger action before I uh, go and do that. I don't think I'll be able to... It's, it's, it's not too difficult to get to, but it's really stuck in the mud and it needs heaving out and it's broken. So it's, I've either got to haul it all the way back to the garage where I can use the, the trailers and such that I've got there. Um, or I've got to repair it where it is and then I could drive it out. But that means bringing a lot of stuff to that location and that's not easy. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We'll get you back to the garage soon and get you some tasty, tasty upgrades. Right. Now then. Let's pause here for a moment and check out exactly where we're going. So that's the upgrade we're going for. So I think I'm going to head to there and then just cut straight across to it. And then we have, there's another upgrade like just here, just outside of the range of the watchtower on this little island here. We can get to it, it's not too deep. Um, the truck itself I think is about here. And then obviously we have the last watchtower over there as well. And oh no, I missed an upgrade. Ah, oh, snaps. I knew that I knew I was going to do something dumb like that. Okay, we'll have to uh, make our way up there at some point and grab that. Ooh, maybe I could... Ooh, I've still got the scout over here. I could drive up there with the scout. That's that's it. That I knew there was a reason I left the scout there. Yeah, let's, let's go with that because um, that was... Ooh, jeez, that could have been embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this upgrade first. So, uh, that's just... Oh, that's just... Highlighting I've got another competition. Okay. So... Let's carry on. So... Anybody in chat at the moment wants to ask me any questions, uh, do feel free to do so. It doesn't have to be about the game, it could be about me or what I've done in the past in terms of gaming or what I might do in the future or, you know, just anything that pops into your mind. Um, this game lends itself quite nicely to, you know, having a bit of a chin wag as I do things from a few moments where I need to concentrate but you know I'll let you know if I need to s stop talking and focus for a moment so yeah just fire your questions away we got quite chatty in yesterday's stream so don't be afraid ow what in the oh whatever I swear this game just likes throwing unknown rocks at you just to annoy you um, but yeah, we got uh, we got quite chatty in the last stream that we, that I did two days ago. So uh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Now that is a snowrunner gearbox for all of the scout vehicles. Very useful. Oh, fiddlesticks! Sometimes, just just sometimes. Okay, going to make our way back to the road. Hopefully without doing any more engine damage because... Oh, out of my way, tree. Yes, get out, out of the way. Grind you under my mighty treads. There we go. Ooh, feature. 
Ooh, what feature would I add to this game? Um, that's a bit of a tricky one. I don't suppose I've ever really thought about extra features. Um, they really have covered an awful lot in the base game in terms of um, what's available now. I mean, there were things that were missing when the game came, came out that they've since added, which is quite nice. Um, I guess one thing I'd like to see is more hybrid trucks, like, that have slightly more unusual options for their class. Like, for example, scout trucks at the moment are pretty much just that. Like, there's a couple of scout trucks that you can put a crane on, um, but in terms of variety, they don't have an awful lot you can do with them other than scout. Um, so, I guess some stuff like that, some like some more variations, maybe like scout trucks with um, with added bonuses. Uh, ooh, let's see. Just want to go to there in order to get the next, get my waypoint for going and getting this next upgrade. Um, so yeah, s some some more hybridization. Like I said, they have done much better with recent trucks. I mean, uh, I think it would be safe to say that um, Wisconsin, the Wisconsin region that they added in Phase 3, added possibly my favourite truck to the game. Um, and that's the... What's it called? International Paystar 5600, I think, which is this giant monster truck that can equip like 16 different things at the same time. It's really, really cool. I like it a lot. Come on, get out of the water before I start doing engine damage. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. And upgrade. What do we got? New engine for. Hey! Look at that. So, there's a new engine for our Fleet Star, which is fantastic. So, we'll get back across the river and go and grab the final watchtower. And then, we might... Yeah, then I'm going to switch over to the scout and go and get that other upgrade that I missed and take this bad boy back to the garage for some upgrades. I think that's what we're going to do. Ooh, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's better. Up here. Through the trees. Good little scout. Yeah. Huzzah. Right. Let's uh, we'll pause here for a moment. And just plan out our route. Because what's going to be best? I think I'm going to go this way. Um, and then straight up to that watchtower there. I think that's going to be the uh, the way to go, I think. Yeah. And then watchtower. Boom. Oh, it's going well now. Look at that. Sorted, sorted, and sorted. Right. So... Actually got quite a bit done already. I'm actually quite pleased. I was expecting this to take a lot longer because um, scouting can sometimes take forever depending on how well you get stuck. But uh, I think I've done a pretty good job of avoiding getting stuck at the moment, which is always a bonus. Should 
should mean we should get make some decent progress in today's stream, I think. Oh god, it's air! Ah, he says as he nearly rolls. Yep, yep, come on, Lynx, pay attention to the road. Or what there is of a road. Now, yeah, so the truck we're going to go and rescue is actually. See that single tree? Like right in the middle of the screen there? It's kind of just to the left of that over that hill. Um, and that's where we'll be going. It's a bit of a swamp nightmare over there, so. Oh, hey, there's the watchtower we want up on that hill. Oh god, tree stumps! My mortal enemy! I swear, so many times in this game I've been completely flummoxed by a tree stump. It's, it's untrue. Absolutely untrue. Right, okay. We. Oh, other games that I'm playing. At the moment, I'm playing um, Breath of the Wild and Shining Force 3 uh, on my channel. Um, I'm. That's, uh, so, Breath of the Wild, I'm posting on a Tuesday, and Shining Force, I'm posting on a Saturday. I've got quite a few videos from both already racked up, so uh, do, do be sure to check out those playlists um, after the stream, if you like. Uh, and on Thursday, I kind of do, like, odds and ends. I've been doing some shorter videos, I've done stuff like Limbo and uh, what's the other one called from them uh, and Inside so I've done both of those and uh, I've done some other short games as well and I've done some uh, like try videos where I just try out a game for an episode uh, just to see if, I, see if I like it but generally those are like games that I've never played at all uh, is this where I need to go? Yes, it is. Um, so that's that's those going at the moment. Um, I've got some plans for. Oh, in my free time. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yep. There I go. Misunderstanding questions. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Uh, so in my free time, I'm well. I've just got this game on the Switch, so I've been playing a bit. <laughs> it seems seems weird. Like in my free time, when I'm not streaming Snowrunner, I play Snowrunner. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, I've also been playing um, Animal Crossing, um, and uh, another one that's kind of like Animal Crossing, which is Cozy Grove. Um, I definitely recommend that game. By the way, it's insanely fun. Uh, same kind of light, same kind of vein as uh, Animal Crossing, but slightly more varied, I'd say, um, which is really cool. Um, what else have I been playing? Yeah, there's there's the the Chevy truck that we're going to be picking up later. Uh, what else have I been playing recently? Uh, I play quite a lot of World of Warships as well. Um, I, I generally just play that when I want a bit of a laugh. Um, and at the moment, I would say that's probably probably most of what I'm playing. Um, I do have some games that I'm interested in checking out. Um, Oh, my favourite bear in Cozy Grove. Uh, I would say... Ooh, ooh, that is a tricky one. That is a tricky one. I haven't encountered all of the bears yet. Um, but I think my favourite... is probably the cook. What's the cook called? Um, I can't remember now. Um... Oh, I'm stuck in a hole. That's great. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, 
Oh, what's the what's the the greeting that the the cook uses again? Ah, oh, I can't remember. But I love the the greeting that the cook has and how they interact with you. Um, they're very fun. But I also I like them all to be honest. They're just really kind of unique little characters, and they're all quite humorous. So yeah, I uh, I have a liking for all of those bears in Cozy Grove. It's just a really fun little game. Oh, 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 rocky, rocky, rocky. And let's see now. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Right. I'm going to park this sucker right here for now and yeah, just cancel that off right ah typical eh right we're gonna oh yeah I forgot that about the scout it does have um Diff lock and all wheel drive from the start, which is pretty nice. So I might, I might not sell this straight away, we'll see. Um, That's why you don't go saying you like bears on Twitter. Never ends well. Right, where are we going? We want to go here, there, and there. Okay. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, this this scout here has the bounciest suspension ever. It's ridiculous. And here I am driving down this bouncy muddy road in the dark. Oh, Cozy Grove video. I could do. I could do a Cozy Grove video. Um, yeah. I mean... What do you guys think about that? I could... Whoop, whoop, no, no. Bad Scout. Bad, naughty Scout. Oof. There we go. Phew! Nearly rolled her. This this one doesn't have a blooming autonomous winch on her yet, so that would have been disastrous. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm up to about day 35 or something like that on Cozy Grove. Um, so I could I could definitely uh, I could definitely. Come on now. I could definitely uh, record one of those four people if that's something that would interest. That might actually be quite nice. Right, upgrade. Not for current truck, but for the Chevy. Cool, right. Now then, we've got to get this little Chevy home. So, best way, just back to the main road, I think. So, where's the turning? Just there. And then down into town. 
and then home from there. So that's the that's the plan. Okay, come on. Around we go. There's we go. In this game? Stuck on purpose? Oof. Uh, I, I, I would probably try not to in this particular mode, but uh, I have done it. I have done some crazy maneuvers uh, in normal mode because I know that if all else fails, I can just recover. Um, yeah. I have I have tried some crazy maneuvers and gotten myself stuck because of them. Um, I think one of the one of the things I tried to do at one point uh, was there is a particular truck, uh, scout truck that you can get in Russia, and it's amazing, absolutely amazing. It's called the Tatarin, um, and it's basically a tank. <laughs> so uh, it's always really cool to get early on in the game if you can handle it and I did actually set myself the challenge once of trying to get it like immediately into the game uh, and that was that was quite a, a fun little challenge Ooh, through the fence uh, and I did manage it but yeah, I did get stuck. I think I had to bring about three different vehicles along just so I could get everybody unstuck as I went along, which was, uh, it took me a while. But I won't be doing that this time because <laughs> even if I get it, I can't really bring it back. Although that is something I should test how much it is to deploy a truck into a different region just so that I know. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to send lots of trucks to Russia and then bring them all back again at all. Oh, goodness me, it could get quite expensive. Okay. But yeah, I, I try not to get stuck on purpose. That is, that is, that's some crazy talk. Oh, goodness me. Trying to itch my nose and not drive into trees at the same time, whilst not stopping. Let's see how that works. Come on. Come on. Sorry about that. Just really itchy nose today for some reason. So, and we got this little boy, little little bug truck back, and then we're going to switch over to the Fleet Star, and we're going to bring a convoy home. Because I'm going to bring the Chevy back with me uh, when I bring the Fleet Star back. I've done all the scouting I need to do for now. I've got all the upgrades, all the watchtowers, so I won't need to do that again. At least not for the time being. And the Fleet Star can easily pull the Chevy um, without any problem. So that's the plan. Oh, very itchy nose today. Right, okay, nearly home. I'm just going to park this thing outside for the time being because if needs be I can then steal the fuel out of it as like a little extra um, fuel reserve.
given how rare fuel is these days. Right, let's just park it up behind here. And turn the engine off. There we go, fantastic. Right, to the Fleet Star. And we are going to be heading all the way back down this road, all the way back down, la da 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 da, -da back to the garage, um, and picking up the, the Chevy as we go. Oh yes, we refueled from that tanker truck before we dropped it off, didn't we? So, handy. That's better, have some lights. Ah, so then we can get cracking again with, uh, with a few contracts, I think, and tasks. I think that will be good place to start now that we've gotten all the scouting out the way. Right, now where's this? There's the little Chevy. So we're going this way. But what we want to do is stop it there and attach the winch. Oh, you're kidding me, right? It's too far away. Typical. Turn the engine off again. Oop. Change truck. <laughs> Have you played hard mode yourself um, I, I'm, I'm really unsure how to pronounce your name there <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne is Akamore yeah well, let's go with that correct me if I'm wrong um, but uh, yeah have you played it yourself hard mode that is it is it is quite the challenge I will say you know everything is considerably harder. Come on, little fleet star, let's go. We've got a new engine waiting for you at the garage. Oh, you are what? Oh my lord, it really is swinging around over there. Dwayne, cool. Fantastic. But yeah, I love this game too. It's it's just relaxing yet challenging. It kinda it kinda reminds me of when I used to play stuff like Tetris, you know. I'd play it for hours and didn't even realise that I was playing it. Come on. Come on there. Oh, come on. Come on. This is always the worst part. This little mud hill here. It's quite steep. Come on. And I can't use my winch because I'm towing the Chevy. Right, there we are. Back on solid ground. Not much further to go. A 
Hello, abandoned trailer that I'll probably never pick up again because I can't sell you. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Turning a bit too much there. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Avoid the barrier. I really don't want suspension damage. Got enough suspension damage already between these two, this truck and the Chevy. Okay. So yes. Next job we're gonna tackle is this rock slide, I think, that's on the on the screen at the moment. And is that nothing? Okay. Just checking my alerts, guys. Oh, Ooh, a little bit of a screen lag for me there. Hopefully that didn't come through on the video. Right. That's going right. Okay, the rest of this trip should be relatively downhill. Hopefully not in the bad way. Momentum. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> I'm always afraid of hitting mud at quite a speed like that because you never know when the game's just going to like suddenly decide. Here, have some engine damage. <laughs> Game likes doing that. Right, we don't need fuel right now. We've got some back at base. Take the shortest route possible. Just get through this muddy part. Come on. Come on. Really got to get out of these ruts, they're really causing me some problems here. How's the Chevy doing? Fine. Bump some power back on. Come on. Come on, little fleet star, we nearly made it. Nearly made it. Oh, there we go. We're over the crest. Right. Now it's easy going. And then we get to do some upgrading. We still haven't leveled yet. Which is slightly annoying. But... Never mind. I was hoping that all the watchtowers that we did would have leveled us. Uh, but it has not. So we must be still a fair distance from level 5. I think it's level 5. In fact, let me have a quick check. There we go. That's what we wanted. Oh, we're actually not too far off level 5 now. Um thousand and no 170 experience oh that's actually if we do rock slide that will probably do in terms of experience upgrades are fun come on fleet star pull it through 
really want to get to level 6 because then I can get some better tyres for this guy. As was pointed out yesterday, it's kind of like, I'm sorry sir, we can't fit those tyres, you're two levels lower than, than needed. Right, and we will detach the trailer there and move to the garage. Right, so we should have a new engine. Oh, wait, what? It doesn't do anything. What? It doesn't change the stats at all. What's going on? That's weird. Well, we'll put it in and sell this one. It is an upgraded engine, so... I, I don't know. Shouldn't be able to do anything else, though. Yep, we still don't have that for tyres. Can't fit a new winch yet. One thing we will be doing, though, is fitting a low saddle. Uh, because that will allow us to pick up a trailer that we need. Uh, for, oh, it's all crumpled at the front there. <laughs> We need the low saddle now for the next part of our job. So, I'm going to park this guy up here and just stop the engine. And then we're going to switch over to the Chevy and drive her on into the garage. Because for this little baby, we should have some great stuff. Oh yes, that engine is definitely going in straight away. Uh, we then have a new gearbox, we'll sell the stock one. We have raised suspension, sell that. And tires, can we get the next lot of? We've got off-road tires, guys. Check that out. That is some chunky tires. Uh, we can get smaller ones, but we're gonna go with the biggest, beefiest, tires we can get. I'm going to sell those. Uh, we've got the autonomous winch. Um, we could put those in the trunk but I don't really want to at this stage. Don't really need the repair supplies on it just yet. We won't bother with the snorkel for now. Um, and I think this baby is really going to rock now. Look at this. bring her over here and do some refueling from I ah, will do the scout why the hell not and then we're gonna bring the fleet star over because in order to use this repair trailer I have to be hooked up to it it's really strange Very odd, you know, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense in a really weird way, but it doesn't in others. Right, so there we go, and then we will repair uh, from the service trailer, the target, wait, where's the, why can I not repair, do I have to be closer, I bet I have to be closer, that's annoying. Right. Take this guy around. Right, now I should be able to do it. Just turn the engine off again. Repair. Yay, there we go. Hey, what? The Chevy's repaired. But the Chevy had a load of damage. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but... The Chevy had damage. What's going on? That's... That is... Bizarre. 
How weird. Oh well. Never. I'll repair the suspension on the Fleet Star for now. And we don't need to bother with the Scout. So, we are now going to detach the trailer and make our game plan for the next part. So, back at the town over here, parked here at the back of the town, is a flatbed semi-trailer. That has on it quite a few bits and pieces that we are going to be using um, for this mission and a few others. So we will be able to do this mission and this mission with the supplies from this trailer and a few pickups. So that's what I'm going to do. I may need to throw a few things around. Um, I unload a few cargoes and reload some other ones, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's the plan anyway, which is why we put the low saddle on the Fleet Star, because that's what we need for the flatbed semi-trailer. So, oh man, uh, yes. Let's have a look here, anything? Yeah, service spare parts and metal beams. Actually, what I can do is I have some metal beams over here, so I'm going to take these with. I can use these because I don't need them for anything else. I think they were there for an earlier contract, but we've kind of gone past that one. In fact, let me just make sure that I don't need those for anything else. Bricks, wooden planks, and few oh, that's Smithfield Dam. That's Smithfield Dam. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I don't need those for anything else because I've already brought metal planks to where I needed them. So these are going to the rock slide. That is the plan that we're going to do. Right. And then we shall see what we're going to see after that. Oh, oh I need, uh, <laughs> need some all-wheel drive back on again. I really need to get to level 6. <laughs> I need some better tyres on this guy. He's struggling so much over, like, ground here that shouldn't really be struggling over at all anymore. But hey, that's how the cookie crumbles. Okay. Ooh, just get on the slightly less used tarmac there. There we go, we kicked up a gear. Excellent. Okay, so I think... Where are we at? Oh, we've got loads of... We've not been going that long at all. I keep thinking I've been playing much longer than I have. It keeps surprising me how quickly I'm getting some of these jobs done. Um, but that's not a bad thing, because uh, it means I can just do more stuff. Which is great, because I love this game. So everything slots nightly and nicely into place. Ah, come on, Fleet Star. Frame yourself. Go singing your praises and then you're just being all lardy da like this. Right. Okay, there we go. There we go. Back on some tarmac. 
build up a little bit of speed now. Nyom. I suppose I could have gotten these metal beams over at the town storage, but, you know, they were there, I might as well use them. It saves me having to uh, auto-load them, which is annoying. One thing I really love about this game is the attention to detail in areas that other games don't have attention to detail. Like, if you just sit and watch, say, the suspension on this truck, like every single wheel is individually modelled. So every single wheel moves in like independently of the others depending on the terrain that it's at. And it's just really satisfying for some reason. Why do I find that satisfying? I think I'm just getting too old. Need some water. Again, don't drink and drive. Apparently, even if it's only water. Through the swampy little river thing. Whee! That's better. Alright, should I refuel? Probably should, just to be on the safe side. So. How much is this? 232. Yeah. I'll just refill the full. How old is too old? That's a very philosophical question. It is never too old. For anything. Well. Maybe if you're like 90, going rock climbing wouldn't be a good idea. But, uh, yeah. I guess you're never, never necessarily too old for anything, are you? Oh, sorry, guys. My nose is like, it's on fire. It's like crazy. Right. Take this up to the roadblock first, and then we'll grab the other trailer. thunder and we got rain come on I know this is a heavy load truck but come on just need those extra levels just need a few more levels come on please please Fleet Star is friend. Right, here we are. Whew, that took far too long.
One metal beam. Thank you very much. Right. Now, let's... <laughs> I was wondering. I was waiting for it. But yes, Dark Crystal. <laughs> Who doesn't like the Dark Crystal? Only silly people. Okay, now we are on our way to get the last item we need for this quest. Service spare parts. Oh, come on. Come on. I do indeed. spare parts from this other trailer or do I need to grab the big one? Let's have a looky here. I can't quite remember what's on. Oh, that's not helpful. Ooh, I think I might be able to grab them off this trailer here. Which would be a whole lot easier than... Yes, indeed. I think... Are those... service spare parts or are those consumables? Actually, I think those might be consumables. Hmm. Hey, Gary. How's it going? Alright, what have we got there? Oh, no. Those are service spare parts. Excellent. Okay. Let's go and drop these off then. In that case, and then we can go and well, we're kind of taking these bricks with us, but we will need these bricks on the next map, so they're going in the right direction. Good, good. Not bad at all, is better than better than not be better than bad. So yeah, that's good. My brain got there eventually. <laughs> right. Oh, come on. Come on. Through the mud. Through the mud. Come on. Yeah, we're definitely leaving this trailer over here because this is this is crazy. Before we do, we will be unpacking the bricks so that we can steal them out of the trailer for later on. Okay, just But doom Awesome. Right, we'll unpack those and detach the trailer. That way, if we need to come back. Oh no, detach trailer. If we need to come back for those bricks, we can just lift them out. them out without a problem. Oh, trailer's on the move. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, there's a, quite a spike in visitation there. Um, hi, new people. Uh, everyone that has said hi or not. Welcome to my stream. Um, playing Snow Runner, as you can see. Lots of Lots of truck driving and cargo delivery. 
Oh my goodness me, I got I totally got super stuck last time round. Oh, don't even remind me of that. <laughs> I rolled it. Lost all my cargo and had to spend half an hour un unrolling myself. Goodness me, that was absolutely ridiculous. Right. Now then, let's grab this trailer. So... Goodbye, mailbox. Huzzah! It did, it did create quite a spectacle, I will say, didn't it? Right. So this is the trailer that we're picking up now. It's got lots of good things on it that we're going to be using. Providing I can actually get it out of here without getting myself wenched. also be using this trailer for uh, for the rest of the uh, the contract that we're going to be doing in a minute once we've cleared off all of this cargo because we're going to need some of it but not all of it Cargo, there we are. And detach trailer. I knew that was going to happen. Why do I keep running into lampposts? Okay, hook this trailer up now. what we want. Now then, where was that task we were going to do? Riverside Repairs, there it is. So we're going to start tracking that one. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pinch a couple of service spare parts off this trailer that we just pulled around here. machinery. We'll take that whilst we're there as well. Right. Oh, I think my premiums on this game are already through the roof, you know. Right. Now then. Uh, yes, I'm parked on the right side now. So, activate some anchors, and let's have some crane action. Come on. Why is this being... Annoying. Never mind. I'll just drag it. Over. What are you doing, cargo? Sit. Cargo! What are you stuck on? That's better. <laughs> Find out why with these three simple step steps. Right. There's one cargo in. 
Very clickbaity, isn't it? Right, now then. Let's have the other one on the trailer as well. Come on. Building's in the way. Everything's in the way. Oh, nope, that's the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that should be packed enough. Let's have a look. And magic! <laughs> right, there we go. Right, restore the crane. Let's go drop these off. Howdy, AJ. How's it going? I, I would say that uh, if you want a fun cataclysm, I think, like, you know, the town bakery ran out of donuts and everyone had to flee. Alright. Come on now, Fleet Star. We've got to cross this twice, so don't make a meal of it. That's a lot of mud. Right, let's have some diff lock. And come on. Come on now. Sun setting. I would rather like to get across here. Oh my god, yeah. Everyone's in quarantine. Slowly. Slowly getting there. Come on now. Just a bit further. No winch points! How dare you tell me there are no winch points. I'll decide that for myself, thank you very much. the other side. Tally-ho! At least there are winch points here. Which I'm gonna need because this is swampy territory. There we go. Can we have a tree? There we go. There we are. Fantastic. Up and around. I say everybody should play this game, but that's just me. Come on now. Right, let's get a bit of speed going. I might try going around the other way next time and just avoiding that water crossing because it's, it's not bad, but it is a bit slow. We 
do have to come over here again to drop off the next lo lot of supply supply supplies. Blur. Okay, and we're going to be doing it at night. Woohoo! How about that? Okay, picket fence, your days are numbered. As are you, mailbox. Da! Okay, now we've got to get around. Here, cargo management. Boom, that's those two. Right, now, onwards. Onwards, noble steeds. Let us retrieve the wood planks. Oh, come on. Come on! Ugh, I beached myself. Right, that's better. Come on now. Come on. Up and over. Up and over. Round we go. Doing a wheelie. Wheelie, woo! Come on now. I can just kind of squidge myself around here. Come on. Come on. Come on. me. Why did I try? Why did I decide to go this way? No, I'm not going that way. I'm going to go the other way. That way is far too difficult. Right. That's better. Oh, whoop, whoop. Don't go. No. Why, why are you leaning? Why are you leaning, truck? There is nothing to lean on. Ah, oh, dearie me. Right. Okay. Can you believe at one point in time I brought that huge massive trailer over here to see if I could do this job? Bad idea. Very bad idea. Let's get some more diff lock action going on. Come on. Come on now. Come on. That's better. Maybe it's this tr this trailer is just weighing far too much. I suppose it is eight at like eight fucking wheels, you know. It's a massive thing. to get a couple of wooden planks and then we're on to the big job back to the big job and we're going to finish off the major contracts here in Black River and hopefully get on to the next map and maybe start doing a bit of scouting I think that sounds like a plan we are going to be going on to the next map in a moment because we need some supplies from over there, but uh, I 
Come on. Come on now. Come on, Boffins. Yes. Very true. Come on now. Don't start all this nonsense. Right. Right. We are free. Well. For now. <laughs> Good to go for now. Come on, we just need one more level and we can actually get some decent tires for this thing. One more level. Actually, how much experience do we need for that? Oof, 1200. Okay. That's quite a lot of experience. We're not going to get that from this quest. Probably all the next quest, I would say. Goodness me, I'm really low on fuel now. This job is taking too much fuel! I'm going to have to swing by the, uh, the fueling station before I get these wooden logs, planks, whatever. Okay, so... Do 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 do! Definitely going to try going the other way on the on the on the other other way journey once we've got some fuel, because um, that water crossing is an absolute nightmare. I'm going to go over the same way we went with the scout earlier, I think. Once we've got ourselves some fuel and some logs. How much is this? Hundred and no, three hundred and thirty dollars to refuel. Oof. Now the expense starts adding up. The scouts are lovely and cheap to refuel. These things really start eating diesel. That's for sure. Okay. Bridges? Which bridges? Uh, <laughs> well, this this world does look quite post-apocalyptic, but thankfully it isn't Mad Max. Uh, so no, you don't get uh, you don't get looters. Um, although that could be a fun alternative game mode. <laughs> Actually, that might be an interesting one to uh, put to the devs. Can we have a, a, a true post-apocalyptic version? Where there is no fuel and your cargo gets stolen. And <laughs> that could be... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Terrible. <laughs> it's hard. This is hard enough as it is. Right. Anchors down. Crane up. And let's have some wooden planks on the loading platform. to the trailer with you. You know, rotate this cargo a little bit. 
so that it'll actually fit between the slats. Why, oh why did I pick this one? Come on. That's more like it. Now it's actually rotating. Zombie Apocalypse. Snow Runner Edition. Oh, come on now. Don't be like this, cargo. Really? You're going to be this awkward? Right. Now, will you go in? Eh? Can I get you in now? Okay. Good enough. Close enough for government work. Now then, uh, we need another one of those. Loading platform please, yes. No, no, no. That's not going to work. Uh, i tell you what I'll do. If we come out of this and I will pack that cargo and then back into crane mode and then hoist this up and plonk it on top, hopefully. Is that going to be good enough? I think that should be good enough. Oh, no, wait. Uh, I want to detach that. Oh, but ah, you. <sighs> right. Let's try this again. didn't work. I went the wrong way with the boom arm. Okay, so what we're going to do up again and straight out. Come on. I know you want to. Okay, out the menu. Unpack, pack. Boom. Whew. Right, okay. <laughs> Restore that crane. Let's get out of here before anything else happens. Yeah, literally. It's just. Let's just balance this cargo on here and. It, it works. There we go. Ah, that took far too much concentration. I hate loading trailers. That's the... The Gravity Falls edition is where we uh, go around solving mysteries. In a truck. Aye. That sounds pretty good actually. All of the mysteries are solved by delivering cargo. <laughs> uh, it was 150 per cargo piece, I think, was the auto load. Um, 
Yeah, I currently have 30k, so I suppose I could, it's like what, what's that, two auto loads is like 1% of what I currently have, but I'm currently not earning a lot of money because I've been doing a lot of exploring, so I don't want to spend much. <laughs> Catching the cord there. Okay. Get these over to the the boatman's house and then hopefully start making some serious progress. Yeah. Get into uh Yeah, exactly. That's the that's the thing. I'm already paying for fuel. I don't want to have to pay for cargo loading as well, um, because my cash reserves will quickly disappear. And I'm trying to save up for a new truck, so you know, I do need to save as much cash as possible. Although probably by the time I've saved up enough cash for this truck that I want to buy, I'll have found a couple of other ones, so I may not need to spend it, but hey. We'll see. Right, I'm gonna go... Oh, wait, no, the path is not there. I thought that was the path. The path is here! Right, come on then. Come on. Oh, I tell you, this nighttime driving is something that I will probably never get used to. Adult Responsibility Edition. <laughs> oh, is that where I've got to pay child support and, uh, you know, call the landlord because the sink's blocked again? get stuck on trees trailer that's the last thing I want right now yeah yeah it, there's definitely a lot more a lot more thinking involved in this mode as opposed to uh, normal snow runner mode where everything can be ser solved via the Jeremy Clarkson field of, uh, of thinking. Either smack it with a hammer or just apply more force. <laughs> Power! Right, there's the drop off. too fast down here. I've got this far. I do not. No. 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 <sighs> Flapjacks. Great. Absolutely great. Um... Uh, that's that's really annoying. Um, <laughs> see the the trailer wheels just slowly going round there. Uh, right. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, to the rescue, I guess. Chevy. Monster truck Chevy. I suppose that is one 
saving grace is that it did happen at dawn, as you say. Hopefully, with this thing's more powerful engine, it better. Uh, it's going to be better than. Ooh, excuse me. Better at heaving things over. Than the last time I had to bring it out. It's just a lot further from home now. Ah, uh, gah, so annoying. I was literally right there. Funnily enough, this is exactly what happened last time as well. Don't you remember? I was literally just around the corner from where I needed to drop stuff off, and I rolled it. Same thing again, only I was even closer to the drop-off point this time. Okay. Come on, Chevy dude, let's get there. Pull this truck up right again. Hopefully. The good thing is, is that unlike last time, the cargo hasn't completely come off the trailer. So, if I'm lucky, I should be able to pull the trailer upright and keep the cargo on it. And then I can just repack it, and then worry about rolling the Fleet Star back over again. Well, there's the there's the hope, anyway. I really don't have to want to have to reload those wooden planks again. I had enough problems reloading my cargo last time I rolled it. Ah, uh, well. At least you guys will have fun watching me, yet again, <laughs> rescuing my truck. Oh, this thing is booking it now. Ow! 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 Who put that there? Well, I, I mean, I knew it was there, but... Who put it there, there? No problem, Gary. Thanks for dropping by. See you in the next one, perhaps. Okay. Ah, trailer! <laughs> okay, this thing has a similar problem that the Khan has. <laughs> it's too darn fast. So yeah, you'll notice now that I have the uh, SnowRunner gearbox installed in this thing, I actually have more gear options. I have a low plus and a low minus and a high gear, which will allow me just to control my speed a little bit. I really need the diff lock for this thing though. I think it's on the next map, so that's a big must find. Yeah, that is right. I am too used to going slow. You know, so when you gain some serious momentum in this thing, it's just like, oh god, I can't stop.
Oh, what a sorry sight. Yet again. Come on. Stop digging into the mud. You've got huge chunky mud tyres. Knock it off. Right. So. First thing we're going to try and do is right this trailer. Now, we change back and we unhook the trailer. Excellent. Didn't move. That's good. So. Attach a winch to there. Get better lined up here. And try and carefully winch it over this way. Yes! Yeah, boy! There we go. There's the trailer upright. No more restacking of cargo. Thank goodness me. And then... Uh, we want this one here, I think. We're going to try pulling this bad lad over. Maybe... Actually, I'm going to try pulling the nose round first. Because then it should have a better, better angle of attack for rolling it. So if we park ourselves here and go for this one here. Come on. No. Still not going to do it. Okay, okay. This is fine. What about if I pull the back end of the truck? Does this want to move? That will move. Okay. Oh, oh, can I pull it the whole way over? Come on. It's now stuck on the crane. <laughs> it's stuck on the crane, of all things. Right, okay. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, there. Let's go. Come on. I'm going to pull you all the way over if it kills me. Come on. Attach winch again. Go for that corner. Yeah, getting a little bit more leverage there. Oh, but it's still not going to go, is it? Huh? Alright. Alright, can I... Can I pull this away? No, not really. Okay, maybe if I take the nose and push from this side carefully. from this angle. Okay, we're back on our side at least and not kind of 
in problems with the crane. So if I push this end around, now this quick winch is not playing ball with me today. But the problem is I don't think this truck is really capable of pulling the the cargo out of the way. It's a bit of an annoyance, but we could have a go. I just don't wanna don't wanna lose any of this cargo. Come on. Okay. You're coming nicely. No worries, this is why we have the autonomous winch. Uh, attach there, and attach there. Shabbity boom! this way a bit more. That'll do. Right. Right. This truck can't hook up to the trailer. That's a. I need specific trailers for these little trucks, these little scout trucks, um, because they can't haul the bigger trailers. Which is annoying because, yes, I would at this point just kind of deliver that. Um, now then. That really is stuck in that hole pretty darn. Pretty darn well. I wonder if I can push it any further. No, 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 no. Oh, for fuck. <sighs> Fudgery doodah days. Seriously? Will you not do that? Okay. Tell you what. Just pull myself over using that truck. Because that's not going anywhere. Um, no, because in order to actually deliver cargo, you have to be connected to the trailer. So, sadly, I can't even tow the trailer there and then... Um, and then drop it off with the scout. I've got to get this Fleet Star righted. myself under here and give it a push. Ooh, ooh, that worked. Wedge myself in a bit more. Come on now. Come on. 
I'm running out of fuel. Come on. Move. You darn thing. going around in a circle now. Gosh darn it all. But hey, if that's... Ooh, actually, if I can pull it over here a bit more. If I can pull it down this hill. See a blind thing. Oh, hey. That's actually pulling quite nicely. Or it was. Hmm. Ah, right. Okay, another try from the side. Right where I want it, I just don't have the winch power. Come on! range. Nope, I do not have the range. We're using that tree anyway. I'm going to have to steal some fuel out of this fleet star now. Uh, fuel, fleet star to there. 20, 40 liters, thank you. Right, let's try using... this tree here. That tree can't support me. Too flim- Get out the way, tree! Oh my lord, now the trees are trying to literally invade. Get out of the way. Out. Way. Out. Now. Go. Good tree. Okay. Can I give it another nudge? Uh, hmm. Funnily enough, you know what's really causing me aggro now? This crane. That's what's really causing me problems. Because it's creating too much of a kind of contact area. If 
I can just nudge it a bit further. Come on. Just pushing on the end here. Nope. That's no, I want to face nose down game. Nose down! Down periscope! See a, a running start might work, but I risk damaging particularly this vehicle. Whoop! But we could give it a go. Nope. Just get a little bit more distance on this nose, you know. Oh, 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 that's moving. Come on. Actually, if I put a winch there, ah, I can't quite reach the trees. I could use the winch to pull. As well as push. Come on. Oh, that is so wanting to tip over. Come on. Seesaw going. Come on. Oh, we're so close. Come on. Come on. different angle on it now. If I go for the tail here, or what about here? Come on. Come on. You're moving. I'm not going to give up on you. I will deliver these wooden planks one way or the other. Hiya! to head back to the fuel station in a minute. This is getting crazy. I'm just back in the freaking hole again. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, now that's going good. I can get a tree. Yeah. Come on. That was some good movement there. If I can just 
Push this over. Yeah, come on. Ooh, I can get that tree now. And here we go. Here we go. Come on. Get over. Get. Yes! <laughs> right. Stop the engine. I'm going to refuel with 20 litres. Whew, which should be enough to get this back to a fuel station. I'll get it out of the way. Oh my goodness. Perseverance, everyone. Perseverance. And then we change over to the Fleet Star. We don't roll it again. Okay, come on now. Hook up this trailer again. Come on now. Go so that it doesn't fall off. Ooh, wee man. Well, so I guess the running theme for this series is going to be once per episode, I'm going to roll my truck. <laughs> oh, my lord. What an absolute pain. But. At least we are nearly done. So, almost finished with this task, and then we'll be moving on to the big one. Boom! More experience, more fuel to replace the. to, to use on replacement fuel that <laughs> I spent writing my truck. Come on now. That's better. Let's get up this here hill. Oh, man alive. Right. I think I might leave this trailer here because I'm not going to need it where I'm going next. And that means that I can actually tow the Chevy out of here. Let's go. Hoo wee. That was far too tricky. Whew. Right. To go and get our big trailer from the town. And uh, take it to get some stuff. Excuse me, everyone. Bit of a yawn there. Okay, here we go. Power! 
at least for a little bit. Back to Diflock. <laughs> Trudge across the swamp. I think I'm just going to take both of these both of these vehicles back to the fuel station and get them refueled and ready to rumble for the next part of the journey now. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Onwards with gusto and defiance. get some fuel and then back to not a drill Whew. which I'm hoping might give us if not probably won't give us enough experience to level up but it'll probably give us quite a fair chunk I hope. And Chevy's like, whoa, <laughs> it's actually going pretty darn crazy. <laughs> it's going faster in reverse being towed than my Fleet Star is going forwards in drive. <laughs> Settle down, you little crazy car. I st no, I said settle down. <laughs> it's just it's like, I want to be over here. Okay, trucks refueled, let's get out of here. Don't need to bring, uh, shall I bring the Chevy? Yeah, I'll take the Chevy back because then it's ready to be used on the next map. save me a little bit on fuel because the Fleet Star will not be bothered by towing this back up the road again. God, such a beast of a Chevy now with those chunky ass mud tyres on it. Whew! Man! So, now what we need to do, we'll detach the Chevy there, break here, and we are going to do some craning. Dump that there doesn't have to be pretty, I just need this stuff off the trailer, because we're going to need the space. Shaboom! Alright. Store crane. Break off. Let's hook this trailer up. Shazam! Right. Oh, here's the tricky bit. Getting this into the town storage so that I can actually get some metal beams on this thing. At least I don't have to worry too much about their orientation. I can just kind of plonk them on and hope for the best. Right. OK. 
Cargo. Loading platform. Load one metal beam, please. I need two of these. Uh, hmm. I would say it probably looks best on uh, the PC, but it will depend how powerful your PC is. Because um, if you're running it on a potato, it's going to look like it's being run on a potato. Um, I know um, my computer is pretty decent in terms of its graphics. It's certainly not high-end, but it's... Um, it's not too bad. I suppose I've seen it on uh, Xbox. Uh, no, not Xbox. I've seen it on PS4, and it does look pretty good on that. Uh, it looks even better on PS5. Drop that there. Fantastic. Uh, so I would say it probably looks best. Oh, excuse me, getting some some more burps there. I would say it probably looks best on either a very good PC um, or being run on one of the next gens, so uh, the new Xbox or um, the, uh, the, the, the PS5. I would say are probably where it looks best. Now, where are we? That's not it. That's the one we want. Start tracking that, please. So, two metal beams for the drilling site. But yeah, it is an astonishingly pretty game. They have kind of gone out of their way to you know, uh, to make it look good. It actually plays really well on the Switch. I've been quite surprised by how well it's played um, on the Switch. I mean, obviously the Switch isn't as powerful as uh, as one of the next gens or a custom-made PC or whatever, but the detail on the trucks and the cargo are absolutely brilliant. They're just as good, I would say, as what we're looking at here. Um, the draw distance is definitely reduced, like items will just pop in on the ground. Um, and the kind of backdrop, like all the trees that we can see here, is, oh goodness me, um, certainly look a little bit more kind of basic. But the lighting is still really good, the atmospheric effects are still really good. Um, it's actually really quite impressive to see how well it does look on the Switch. It obviously doesn't look as good as this, but it does, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look like a potato, which is kind of half what I was expecting. I certainly was expecting kind of a significant graphical downgrade on the Switch, but no, no. Not really. I mean, all the moving parts on the truck, all the little details on the trucks and everything, as far as I can see, still there. So it's just a bit of a bit of uh, draw distance and you know distance graphics like that mountain over there. You probably wouldn't see those pine trees on it. You'd just see the mountain because it's a little bit too much for the switch to handle. But, yeah, it's, it does pretty well. It does actually does pretty well. Ah, oh, come on. Through the water. Come on. This isn't the easiest way to bring these metal beams, but it's the quickest. And I want to kind of get this job done, get some money and experience in our pocket, and then move on to scouting the next map, you know? That's kind of where I want to be next. Come on, 
Come on now. Come on, Fleetstar. You can do it. Pull. Pull. Right. There we go. No. Tree stomp. No. No. Bad. Oh my god. That is just freaking typical. I go over a crest, lose my f steering, and then run straight into a freaking tree stump. Come on. I do stop putting me into the trees. Ah, Larg! Okay, load. That's how you want to play it. That's better. Right, now I've got some traction with my front wheels again. And I'll go up this way. Didn't really want to go too far this way because it's just hilly. But at least I can actually steer. See what I mean about tree stumps, though? Tree stumps. The worst part of SnowRunner. <laughs> I'll take all of the rolling over and having to spend half an hour to trying to right your truck again. If they did away with tree stumps. Like, these ones are pretty obvious, right? You can see them. And when, by the time you get to Russia, they're hidden in long grass. You know, it's like stealth attack. It's like the worst things ever. You'll just be driving along, you'll go, Oh, I'll just shave, shave the edge off this corner so I don't have to steer as much and just pile straight into a tree trunk that was hidden in the long grass. Ugh. do hope that trailer is close enough when I come to pull it in. <laughs> really don't like going into that box very much because... Planks delivered! Shazam! Now I need an oil rig drill. The next big piece of cargo for this job. And we're going to go and get one from Smithfield Dam. So we're going to load into a new area. Woohoo! New area time! Try and trim some of these. Oh my lord, it's Tree Stump Avenue. Actually, this is a really bad idea trying to try trim that corner with this thing. That's not good. We'll just go around. Right, that's better. Let's go around the tree stumps. Yep, yep. Come on now. Right, there we go. On the road. On our way to collect the oil rig drill and uh, yeah this is one of the only trailers that you can put the oil rig drill on because this thing can hold five cargo and the oil rig drill takes up five cargo slots it is huge it's obviously not as big as that construction trailer that we had to drag over here but as a piece of cargo that you oh my lord I've just thought I've got to actually manually load that thing as well Oh, good grief and gravy me, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Great times. Come on. Come on now. Oof, I hope I've got enough fuel to get there and back, and then to the fuel station again. Hmm. did not consider that. I don't think there is any... Oh wait, no, there is a fuel station on, on the other side, relatively close to the entrance, so we'll go and stock up on fuel after we've grabbed the drill. And then we'll have as much fuel as we possibly can for getting back here. And getting out again. Because of course I've got to... Uh, I can't just recover. Now I've actually got to... 
drive home. But that should be fine. Shouldn't be too bad. Come on, level six. Come on, level six. I need some tyres for my fleet star. Tyres for my fleet star. Okay, nearly back to the main road here. <laughs> main road, yeah, okay. If you can call it a main road, it's more like a main mud road. Whoop, there. Come on. Ech. Nearly down to half a tank. That should still be fine. trailer loves making me pull a wheelie. <laughs> a sarnage. Um, yeah, there's there's an old story behind that. Um, uh, there's, it, it goes back to an old friend and, uh, and I from Comprehensive school, primary comp comprehensive, yeah, something like that. I was about 12, 12 to 16 kind of age bracket. And uh, we were such good friends. And we actually made up some characters to use in like various circumstances. And we had, we made them as brothers. And we came up with the with the name Sarnage. I don't know where it came from actually. I think we were just sticking letters together. Um, but yeah, we came up with the name Sarnage uh, for these characters to show that they were brothers. And uh, yeah, I've just kind of used it since. It's weird. It's very old. That was like, goodness me, I was like over 20 years ago now. That's insane. But yes, that's where that's where Sarnage comes from. Um, and I was still using. Here we go to Smithville Dam. I was still using the character name uh, when I created my YouTube channel all those years ago. So I just kind of ran with it, you could say. That truck. We're going to get that truck later on. We can find it on this map. Smithville Dam! Uh, the brothers were called Lynx and Klim, if I'm not mistaken. Thing we're going to do whilst we're here. Uh, I, I think it was spelt K L I M, Klim. I don't even know where he got that name from either, to be absolutely honest. And look at what we have here, guys. We have our second garage. Or should I say our second and only? other garage in Michigan. So, yeah, this will soon be our base of operations for all future um, 
all future missions and deliveries. I'll have to head back to um, head back to my other garage and bring those fuel and repair trailers over because they've still got stuff in them and I want its preciouses. Right, so this is where we're going to pick up the oil drill. So, let's just see how much is it to autoload. Ooh, it's only 150 to autoload. Yeah, you see how big that thing is? Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, it's only got two garages, and we've got two more maps after Smithville Dam to explore. They're both connected to Smithville Dam, so we've got to go all the way to the other areas. I mean, not that it really matters because we'll be take because we won't be recovering ever. <laughs> oh, okay. You was you were, you were being uh, being that way inclined, huh? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's get this thing loaded. That's actually surprisingly light. the question is how loaded is loaded when it comes to this thing will will it pack at that point Oop. will it pack there ah god no okay so uh, I'm gonna have to maneuver this a bit more Hardy ha. Uh, wait a minute. Come on. Right. Now will it pack? I wonder if that will pack. Will it pack there? Oh, f really? What? Why won't it pack? Is it because I still had it attached to the crane? Right, okay. I'm going to have to detach the trailer. Hey, I said detach the trailer. And we're going to have to rejiggy this thing. I knew I should have just freaking auto loaded it. Okay, so, crane mode. Now, is that in line? Don't tell me it needs to be the other way round. It better not be. I think it's... Right, that's as packed as it's going to get. This one's a right awkward bugger. Right, come on. Yes! There we go. That's much better. Okay, so it wanted it placed specifically all on the trailer. The gym. 
You're brave. I hate gyms myself. I'll grab that task whilst we're here. Ah, napping. Definitely time well spent. If you can get to the gym these days, definitely do it, you know? can't see anything because it's so dark. Thank you, game, for not allowing me to skip time. Oh, ah, no, 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 that's a steer. Steer, gosh darn you. Oh, the napping too, yes. <laughs> of course, the napping. Before we head back through the tunnel with the drill, we're going to go and refuel, which is this away. This is going to cost me. I can appreciate that. Going for walks is a nice way to exercise, but it's definitely not as intense as going to the gym or anything like that. Right, how much to refuel? <sighs> Nearly 300. Goodness me, I'm burning my profits here. Oof. Let's get this drill bit back to the back to the drilling site and get this mission finished. Boom, back to Black River. Oh. didn't sound nice. God. That was a noise and a half. Sounded like my truck had just fallen off a cliff. Let's see how far I can get with just standard drive as opposed to all wheel. Nah, I need it. Definitely need it. This is a very heavy load. Gosh, I've used nearly 10 litres of fuel just getting from the fuel station to here. That is crazy! <laughs> it did rather, didn't it? It was certainly rather off-putting. I thought... Uh, Thought something terrible had happened. But no, it was just making obnoxious noises for the sake of it. Wheelie! Wee! 
Overcorrection, yay! Definitely need all wheel drive for this bit. Oh, blimey. Oh, come on. It's the one thing with this trailer. <laughs> Stop being dirty in chat. Right, that's better. Yeah. See this game, it, you can be driving perfectly fine and then suddenly it'll just be like, hey, you drove over a piece of gravel that you didn't even know was there. Have some tyre damage and suspension damage. It's like, what? You're kidding me. Oh, hardy ha. Goodness me. I walked right into that one, didn't I? back to the drill site. It is within reach. I still have a terrible fear that I'm going to have to go and swap back to a high saddle in order to pull that trailer. Uh, the big construction trailer into the drop-off box. If that's the case, I'm going to be so annoyed. Because that's just unnecessary. I'm going to stop dignifying you with an answer soon. Stop it. Right. Okay, fuel's doing well. I think it's as dark as it's going to get now, hopefully. Hopefully.
Come on now. Come on. Go away, sign. Come on. Not far to go now. Almost. Doodly doodly do. Nearly there. Oil rig drill delivered. Huzzah! Right, now, here's the question. Can I... Huzzah! <laughs> yes! And for the uninitiated, what I did there was I just latched a winch onto the trailer whilst I was uh, sat in the delivery box. So apparently that does work, which is great. Let's spin out those drills. Yeah, 740 experience, 7,500 monies. That is good. That is fantastically good, actually. Because that now puts us... Ooh just under 300 experience away from leveling up. I wonder if we can I wonder if there's anything easy that we could do for that. Let's have a look. Um oh yes, so that's opened up. Any of these that we can do missing machinery. Uh no. No. Stuck trailer. That's in that area there. It's actually literally right there where the thing is, you see. But that doesn't give us quite enough. Missing oil tanker. That does give us enough, but it's over the other side of the map. And drainage doesn't give us enough either. And we need a, definitely need a truck with some uh, good tyres on it for that one. Ah, right, okay, so. Let's have a look here. What have we got? Concrete slabs, consumables, metal beams. All of these would work, but. Right. What we're going to do is we are going to head back into town. We're going to take this trailer with us, that's here, because we're going to need that in the, uh, the very near future for another mission. And it has fuel on it which we can steal, so we're going to... Uh, oh, come on, get out the... Gonna get out of the mud, please. Please get out of the mud. We're gonna take this good old little road train round the corner over to the next map. Come on now. Right, let's get some speed. Power! Right, no, I, come on, I said power. Go up a gear. Okay. Getting there, getting there. Right. 
dinner. Ooh, I hadn't thought of dinner yet. Probably should think of dinner. We shall see. Yes. Dinner will be my next adventure once I have uh, finished this stream today. for this just now. <sighs> now we do though. I'm definitely pulling quite a load here. But it's doing it. Like I say about the Fleet Star, it's a very capable little machine. Not particularly fast, but very capable. Best truck. Ooh. Ooh, best truck, best truck. I don't think you can say there's a best truck because there's so many different types that some are really good at one thing but terrible at others. Um, but if I was to go for an all-rounder, uh, there's a truck that you can buy in Russia called the Voron Grad, and that one is particularly good at doing just about anything. Um, it's not quite capable of doing everything, but it's very good, like, all-rounder. Um, best Scout, definitely the Tatarin. Yeah, basically, different tools for different jobs. Um, uh, the caterpillar that you get in uh, Alaska is amazing for muddy territory because it has wheels the size of a small moon. Um, so it just goes over most terrain. Um, Yeah, there's, 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 there's lots of good trucks out there. Woo, more wheelies. Okay, let's go. So, I know what I'm going to do to get my level 6. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, I am definitely missing those trucks right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the Fleet Star, but if I had um, a couple of other of my favourite trucks, this would be going so much quicker. Oh, come on. Come on now. I think where I need to go is just down here. Yes. So, we'll park this trailer up here for now. Bam. And detach. 
there's a fox in the garden? Gosh darn it all. Right, we will refuel here. Thank you for the fuel, Mr. Trailer. And our target is just down here. You can see that curtain side trailer. That's what we're going for. If I go around this other way. I don't want to beach it here. Trixie little foxy, huh? this guy up. I'm going to take this back to the trailer park. Oh, no. Forward gear, please. Forwards. Yeah, they're so skittish, those foxes. Swampy ground. Very swampy ground. Come on now. Come on, Fleet Star. You know you can do it. You're nearly there. Nearly back to the coast. Nearly back to land. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep, here we go. Front wheels. Just the rear ones. Use this I'm using the tiniest little bush to pull myself out. Come on. Come on. Yeah. How on earth did they get the trailer stuck down there? You know. You know, I've got myself stuck in places, but, like, what were you doing down there with this trailer? Oh, greenery goes poof. Right, come on now. take this maintenance trailer with us as well when we go and we're going to come back for the for the flatbed later I might just come back for both of them later actually 
it's fine. I've got plenty of fuel for this little job. And then I can focus on getting the last little bit of experience, getting to level 6. And at that point, it would probably be a good time to end the episode so that I can go and find myself some dinner. So, curtain sides, trailer, onwards. There should be another quest around here to uh, find a missing trailer as well, and then I think both of these together should give us the amount of experience that we need to, uh, to level up. And that's the plan. We only need a couple of hundred experience. So if we deliver these couple of trailers, that'll give us a little bit of quick cash, enough experience to level, and uh, that should be good, I think. Yeah, come on, charge! Go, little fleet star, go! Yum, and there's the drop off point at the trailer park. Woohoo! Ow! How dare! See? Mystery rocks everywhere. Mystery rocks. Oh yes, we have mystery rocks everywhere. Okay, drop off here and boom. Shabadaboo. Out the way, bins. Ah, take that. And now we are 40 experience from level 6. 40! <sighs> Sometimes. But if we go back... Where are these rocks coming from? <laughs> Mystery rock. Like, like, kind of like prog rock, but more suspicious. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Nyom. Speedy, speedy, come on. Got to get to that level six. And then everything will be all right. Right. Speaking of going, speaking of being right, we're going left, and then right. <laughs> so we're heading down that little road you can see off to the right there. <laughs> Doctor Who prog rock band, mystery rock. Rock who? Now this here would be a very useful little thing, this little trailer store here. But uh, I have learnt a terrible thing about hard mode. You should never buy trailers that have fuel or repair point capacity in them. Because when you get them, they're empty. And you have to go and fill them up yourself. It's just like, it's just cheeky. It's just cheeky.
Right. This is another trailer that we can deliver. There's no task here. But I know where to take this one, thankfully. So, whoa! Jump in trailers! Holy bunny hop, Batman! Oh, we got thunder again. last little job should get us the remaining experience we need to get to level 6 and then I think I'll call the stream guys I've been going quite a while now so uh, probably end after this mission and what I'll do before the next stream on Saturday is I will move well slippy road I will move all of my trucks and trailers and such that I want to keep over to the garage in Smithville Dam and we'll pick up from that point oh come on get really 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 you're gonna do that to me okay fine I didn't want to go over those rocks anyway. They're pooey. Now that I'd pay to see. wants me to do that missing machinery job and I'm not going to do that missing machinery job. Because that's a right awkward one. And it doesn't pay well. So yeah, in the, in the next episode, we're going to be moving on to Smithville Dam. We're going to be moving on to the um, some of the main contracts over there. That's what we're going to be tackling in the next stream, which will be coming up on Saturday, guys. So if you want to tune in, see me carrying on on Saturday... Should be same time, same place, you know? Unless I get tempted to do a longer stream because it's a Saturday, I don't know. I'll be up to you guys, let me know in the, uh, in the chat now or in the comments below if you're watching this after the stream ends. Uh, but before Saturday, obviously. Uh, if you want to see me do a, a longer stream on Saturday, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just do a, a standard stream. But uh, Come on. There we go. Through the mud. I really do enjoy playing this game. Ow! Again? Mystery Rock. Darn you who? I should be expecting it now, but I keep forgetting every time. It keeps sneaking up on me. Stealth Ninja Rock. Come on now. Pull.
<laughs> if I did one as long as I liked, I might just play all day. But my back might uh, might not be happy with me if I did something like that. So we'll have to see. I'll see what happens, you know. Hi, pile of discarded goods. Hi, awesome Chevy truck that saved the day. Twice. That's not a bad idea. Um, I mean, I suppose it's, it is going to be Saturday, so people, more people will probably be off work at that point in time, but uh, I could do like, a, like an evening stream. That could be fun. Like an all-night stream or something. I don't know. Right, so we just got to deliver this round here. And Shazam! What? Bruce Slith... What? <laughs> Haltland Hotel. Vacancy. Woohoo! We are level six. We got there! Oh, man. Right. Okay. Stop the engine. Save the, uh, save the fuel down to just shy of half a tank. That's plenty to get back to the maintenance trailer, pick those up, move it around, do some reshuffling. Um, what I'll do is I'll grab the trailers that we have over here, all of these trailers and the scout, and I'll bring them up to the gateway. Are you still going with that? <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, we still have this truck here to uh, to rescue. Hmm. I may start the next stream trying to rescue that truck because it would be handy just to have another truck to do some stuff even if it's not as good as my Fleet Star just for like moving cargo around the map. That would be very helpful. So might start with that uh, next time and then move on to the contract work over in Smithville Dam, but I'll get all these trailers picked up and moved around to places because uh, we'll be taking quite a few of them with us to the next garage uh, but yeah so there we are I think I'll leave the stream there for now and uh, so yeah I do hope you enjoyed uh, Snow Runner Part 2 um, and yeah, we'll be we'll be carrying on on Saturday, and then following that, I'm planning to do a Sunday stream uh, each week of SnowRunner. So I hope you will all join me for those, hang out, chill, chat, and carry on. You know. So thank you everyone for your support. Um, do give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. It just helps out the channel and uh, helps, you know, helps it get a little more visibility with the YouTube algorithm because that thing is is really pants, but we've got to live with it. Uh, so, yeah, I shall see you guys in the next stream. So, until then, do take care. And uh, I'll catch you later. <laughs>